the left thinks that Canada is a peacenik country, but that's just their historical illiteracy. Canadians have paid a disproportionate price in the wars for Western liberty. We joined both the First and Second World Wars before our American cousins did, and in very high numbers too. And those wars in the war in Korea and the dozens of military missions over the decades, none of them were to defend our own soil. They were to defend our friends and allies and the very idea of freedom and democracy. It's one of the reasons Canada is so well-loved around the world. It's the reason why Parliament Hill is awash in colorful tulips every year. That's a gift from the Netherlands for helping to liberate them. It's important to the Dutch, but it's not so important to Justin Trudeau, who had more important things to do in um, Cambodia. That's where he is. The things Trudeau cares the most about, I think, are the things that he remembers hearing as a child when his father was prime minister, mocking Queen Elizabeth, hostility to Alberta, especially Alberta oil, and of course, demeaning our soldiers, despising them, really. I mean, look at this. This is Pierre Trudeau reincarnated. So my question is to you, Mr. Prime Minister, what veterans were you talking about? You know, because you have ISIL or ISIS members coming into a reintegration program. You did a backdoor deal with Omar Qadar with not even stepping into the courtroom. You know, so again, my question is, what veterans were you talking about? Was the ones that fought for the freedoms and values that you so proudly boast about, or was it the ones who fought against? Because honestly, Mr. Prime Minister, I was prepared to be injured in the line of duty when I, went to, when I joined the military. Nobody forced me to join the military. I was prepared to be killed in action. What I wasn't prepared for, Mr. Prime Minister, is Canada have, turning its back on me. So which veteran was it that you were talking about? Thank you, sir. Thank you for your uh, passion and your strength and being here today to share this uh, justifiable frustration and anger with me and with all of us here. Uh, thank you for having the courage to stand here uh, and thank you for listening to my answer. On a couple of elements you brought up. First of all, uh, why are we still uh, fighting against certain uh, veterans groups in court? Uh, because uh, they are asking for more than we are able to give right now. Um, they are asking for more than we... Well, no, hang on. You ask, you're asking for honest answers. Imagine talking that way to a wounded veteran, to his face. Imagine what he says behind his back. If only Trudeau treated our veterans as well as he treated Omar Khadr, the terrorist, murderer, and war criminal that he paid $10.5 million to and gave an apology. Trudeau always marks our military. Remember this? So will you be... Uh... Jean Chrétien, though, you still want to see the proof is the proof is the proof, or are you pretty well made up your mind that it would be better for us to stay in the long combat I, I, I haven't made up my mind, but the onus is on Mr. Harper to demonstrate that a shift from a non-combat role that we've established right now uh, to a combat role is the right thing for Canada, the right thing for Canadians, but also the right thing for, for, for the international community. There are an awful lot of things that Canada can and should be doing. I mean, you look, think, about, think about Canada's reputation around the world and what we've done around refugees. Whether it be the Vietnamese boat people, whether it be uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Ismailis uh, in Uganda, in East Africa, uh, whether it be, uh, even more recently, uh, the, the Tamil community uh, fleeing a, a civil war uh, in Sri Lanka. You know, Canada has been a place that draws in and helps refugees in a significant and serious way. Now, in this situation, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of displaced peoples in the region who aren't looking to all, you know, leave the region, that's where their homes are. They need support to get through uh, this very, very difficult time. Canada has a capacity and an expertise in doing just that. Why aren't we talking more about that? Why aren't we talking more about the kind of humanitarian aid that Canada can and must be engaged in, rather than you know trying to whip out our CF-18s and show them how big they are? 
You know, it just doesn't work like that in Canada. <laughs> it's just weird to see this anti-military activist sound so butch now about war in Ukraine. He, he really treats soldiers as political pawns on a chessboard. The whole thing reminds me of that poem by Kipling called Tommy. Tommy Atkins being the British nickname for a soldier like G.I. Doe is a nickname in America. Here's the poem. I'll do my best to read it. You can see lots of beautiful readings of it on YouTube, including a great one by Roger Moore, the old James Bond actor. I really recommend that. I'll try it. I went into a public house to get a pint of beer. The public can up and says, we serve no red coats here. The girls behind the bar, they laughed and giggled fit to die. I outs into the street again and to myself says I, oh, it's Tommy this and Tommy that and Tommy go away. But it's thank you, Mr. Atkins, when the band begins to play. The band begins to play, my boys, the band begins to play. It's thank you, Mr. Atkins, when the band begins to play. I went into a theater as sober as could be. They gave a drunk civilian room, but had none for me. They sent me to the gallery around the music halls. But when it comes to fighting, Lord, they'll shove me in the stalls. For it's Tommy this and Tommy that and Tommy wait outside. But it's special train for Atkins when the trooper's on the tide. The troop ship's on the tide, my boys. The troop ship's on the tide. Oh, it's a special train for Atkins when the trooper's on the tide. Yes, making mock uniforms that guard you while you sleep is cheaper than them uniforms and their starvation cheap. And hustling drunken soldiers when they're going large a bit is five, five times better business than parading in full kit. Then it's Tommy this and Tommy that and Tommy, how's your soul? But it's thin red line of heroes when the drums begin to roll. The drums begin to roll, my boys. The drums begin to roll. Oh, it's thin red lines of heroes when the drums begin to roll. We aren't no thin red heroes, nor we aren't no blackguards too. But single men in barracks, most remarkable like you. And if sometimes our conduct isn't all your fancy paints, why single men in barracks don't grow into plaster saints? Well, it's Tommy this and Tommy that. And Tommy fall behind, but it's pleased to walk in front, sir, when there's trouble in the wind. There's trouble in the wind, my boys, there's trouble in the wind. Oh, it's pleased to walk in front, sir, when there's trouble in the wind. You talk of better food for us in schools and fires and all. We'll wait for extra rations if you treat us rational. Don't mess about the cook room slops, but prove it to our face. The widow's uniform is not the soldier man's disgrace. Where's Tommy this and Tommy that and chuck him out the brute? But it's savior of his country when the guns begin to shoot. And it's Tommy this and Tommy that and anything you please. And Tommy ain't a blooming fool. You bet that Tommy sees. I have a tough time reading that every year. What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday, I do a monologue. Usually it's about half an hour. Then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix. And in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for eight bucks i think it's worth it and even if you're not quite sure do it anyways because we rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent i promise you i'll never take a dime from trudeau just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe thanks